Hello everybody. Welcome to Mass Effect 2. Um, I'm not sure if this is recording or not. I hope so, but it didn't save last time. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Um, I guess we'll travel to Ilium right away to save Miranda's sister, but, um, I can't remember what we did last time. What did we do last time? Oh, yeah, we got the professor, uh, I'm pretty sure. Got good old Doc Morden. Actually, seems like a pretty swell guy. I like him. Uh, I usually don't like Solarians just from the ones that I've met so far as far as Mass Effect 1 and 2 goes but Jacob wants to speak with you Jacob what is it that Jacob commander sorry I haven't really had time to check in since we launched glad to be on board and I have to apologize I'm a little unfocused due to a personal matter but I won't let it affect my duties. The Yeoman said you wanted to see me. What's this about, Jacob? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck? See if it's legit? If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Hey, uh, Rosetta, if you Okay, so, I'm actually going to level up first, I guess. I don't really know. I guess we'll just go. Go use the mass relay. Much as I can here. Recruit Tolly. Hey! Recruit Tolly. Help Jacob. Ilium, recruit the Justicator, recruit the Assassin, help Miranda, help Zaid, Citadel. I think as far as main quests go, Citadel is next, but we're going to help Jacob. I know I said we'd help Miranda first, whatever, one step at a time. 
and I actually have no means of telling whenever we've actually reached the stopping point so because like I said something is messed up and it's not telling me the time Please insert this too. Okay. Guess I can. I'll play along. I'll play along. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, you have to take Jacob. Who else should I take? Saeed. I really don't like how his face is structured. Leaves me out a little bit. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alert. Danger of rapid. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues. Huh. Unsafe deceleration. Local food and neural decay. Beacon activation protocols. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. Maybe that neural decay affected him. After this long, he's probably chewing the walls. Saeed, you could be a little bit more positive. There we go. Alright.
command line up a notch doesn't work. Ca Ca Captain Fairchild knew this crew, crew, crew. His replacement doesn't command the same level of respect. I'm hoping the man has it in him. Oh, talking bad about Jacob's daddy. That's sad. Elk's creepy in there. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Who are you? What was your rank on the Gernsback? Uh, I, I, I can't think. The leader thinks for us and, and we serve. So, so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them. Agents of the liar. He will not escape. Ah, oh, man, not weird people. Come on, explode. Just sit here. Okay, this is actually pretty bad here. Zaid! Seriously, dude. My first squad member to go down, this is your first mission. I don't need to be using that, so... Sorry, Jacob, but your uh, father's probably just as bad shit crazy as the rest of them. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. They don't look hostile, but they're wearing enemy colors. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent? Yeah. But that other woman said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To 
decay. You are cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to... Machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? This is all weird. I don't like it. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. He was a command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers, pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. So why call for help now? Uh. The surviving males are changing. Everything he did is coming back to bite him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. I was thinking yeah. Jacob seems to be taking this uh, awfully well. Guess he doesn't really have a choice in the matter, though. I'll take it. Ain't shit, son. Ain't shit. Crap. 
guys are actually pretty tough. This is bad. Ouchie, ouchie. Get him, Zaid. Get over here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. We'll secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. Unlock some stuff for Jacob. Ah, so that's how you do it. That's how you gain the loyalty. Do these little side quests for him. All right, everybody. Well, I don't know how long this has gone on, but I think long enough. So 
Join me next time. We'll go and do Miranda's thing.